Hey everyone, in today's Instagram video, we're gonna look at Instagram story. On the homepage of Instagram, that's the part that's on top of your page. So if you're not sure about using Instagram story, maybe you've never used it before or you just don't know your way around it, creating your own post or even viewing other people's posts, this is the right video for you. And this is part of a four part how to use Instagram. So the previous one was the regular Instagram feed and we walked through how to create a profile and creating your first post. And the next two are gonna be direct messages and IGTV. So I broke up Instagram into four different parts. That way it's easier to consume these in shorter videos. So just a little bit about story. Instagram story rolled out in August of 2016 and it basically was a few years after the regular Instagram came out as an additional feature to Instagram. And what the difference is, is Instagram story basically lets you create posts and view posts for just 24 hours. After 24 hours, they disappear. Unlike your Instagram feed where things are there permanently unless you decide to archive or delete them, Instagram story just makes things vanish every 24 hours. And they sort of borrowed this from Snapchat. Snapchat did have this option before August of 2016, but it's rapidly grown in the last few years and it's become much more bigger than Snapchat and is even the bigger part of Instagram itself. So as a regular person, if you're just checking it out, it's a great way to see your friends and see what they're up to in a regular basis. But as an Instagram influencer and someone trying to grow their followers and even monetize Instagram, it's even bigger. I'm not gonna focus on actually monetizing, growing your followers on Instagram in this video, but in the description below, there is a link to a training for that. So check that out if that's what you wanna do. This is more for beginners trying to learn how to use Instagram story. Okay, let's jump into the phone so I could show you Instagram story. And if I just quickly talk about the different things in there, I have well over a hundred videos on Instagram and Instagram story on this channel. So if you search for anything that I just kind of touch up on, quickly you'll probably find an entire video on it on this channel so make sure you subscribe and check those out but let's jump into the phone and use instagram story so i'm on a home page right here on a brand new profile to show you how to use this completely from scratch then i'll jump in in different profiles to show you some more advanced options so as you can see this is the home page this is my profile this is the profile i created for how to use instagram for beginners video so i'm going to use the same one again to do instagram story let's go back to the home page and as you could see before I show you how to create your own story, the story tab is basically on top. So if you're following people and those people create their story, it shows up right on top. So you could see Disney here. This is their feed post. This Bambi post is their feed post, but their story post is on top here as well. And same thing, Marvel, again, looks like they have one right here. And you could basically scroll left and right to see all the different people that you're following and their story if they have it. So let's click on one. I'll just click Marvel Studio. You just click on it right here. And as you could see right on top, there are those little dashes. So each one represents one post inside of story. Looks like since I've never used it before, it's actually showing me a tutorial. As you could see, if you press and hold, it will pause a story. To move forward, you just tap the screen. It'll jump to the next one. To go back, you tap the left edge of the screen and to move between stories, you basically swipe left and right, meaning between stories from different pages and different people you're following, not just their story. So let me just tap to keep watching. So again, if I tap and hold, it's going to pause. So that's what I just did. If I just tap, I could tap quickly. You see, it's just jumping to each story. And if I tap on the left side of the screen, it's going to move backwards. So Again, tapping anywhere on the middle or right side moves forward. Tapping on the left side moves backward. Pressing and holding pauses. And if I just swipe right here, you see it just changed it to a whole different page right here. And it looks like Disney has just one post here. That's why there's one big bar. And then as soon as that's done, it's going to go to the next page. So now I jump to the Nike page. And at any time, you could press X to jump out. But if you refresh this page, you no longer could see that story. So you see Disney has now disappeared. So if I wanted to see Disney's story again, it won't be up on the story section. But if I could go to their profile, on their profile, I could click that and see the exact same post again. And this was five hours ago. So they basically still have 19 hours for a total of 24 hours before that disappears. Let's look at a couple other things inside of story. This time I'll click Instagram story. 
let's go ahead and get through a couple of these different stories here. And as you could see, they've added text here, they've added emojis, video. I'll show you how to do those when we create our own. And then on the bottom, you have the airplane icon, which is going to let you direct message this to someone else if you wanted to share that with them. You could press the three dots as well and say share to, and then you could go ahead and share it using different applications like messages on your phone here. And I noticed one thing with the Nike one I wanted to show you. I'll jump back here. Some of it, it says, let me pause here. You see on the bottom, it says watch video and it has an IGTV icon, meaning if you scroll up on this, it's going to take you to IGTV. TV, which is again a different platform right with inside of Instagram. There is a complete tutorial on that, but a lot of times that swiping up action is going to send you somewhere else. Some people, let me see if Netflix has one, you could see a see more option. So if you press that and you slide up, it's basically going to take you to somewhere else they link to, like in this case, a trailer on YouTube. So let me X out of that and I'll hold here. So that's the swipe up which is the most desirable option for brands and businesses. But to get that, you do need 10,000 followers on Instagram. And that's what my training video is all about, how to get to 10,000 followers and beyond and be able to monetize Instagram and Instagram story using options just like this here. So that should show you a brief overview on how to view other people's stories and how to get around each one. Now we're going to actually create our own. So there's a couple ways to do it. You have the camera icon on the top left that will bring you there. You have your story icon right there on the top left with my face on it. If I press that, it will take me inside of story. And I could always go to my profile here and then do the same thing here. I could press the plus sign and jump into story that way. The most common way I actually do it, let me show you that, is on this home page here. If you slide right, it basically takes you to the platform where you could use Instagram story. So now that we're here, let's see some of our options here. Right in the middle, you have your camera icon that will take pictures or videos. If I tap it one time, it takes a picture. On the top left, I'm going to press X because I don't want to post that just yet. And you could also take video by pressing and holding. And as you could see, it's recording. These posts could only be 15 seconds at the time of this recording. And they've been 15 seconds all along since August of 2016. So now if I let go, as long as they're within 15 seconds, so it could be three seconds all the way up to 15 seconds, it is acceptable. So that's how you do photos and videos. Then you have your selfie camera on the right, so you could rotate the camera. And then on the left, there you basically have your camera roll, so you could choose pictures from your camera roll. You could also select multiple and choose multiple pictures to post at the same time here, and they will create different posts for you. So th those are the things you have right there. Right on top, you see I'm on normal mode, so there's a bunch of different modes here that basically kept rolling out since Instagram story was released. So let's look at a couple of them here. So you have your normal mode. That's just the way you take a picture. Boomerang is a really cool way. So if I press and hold boomerang, let me show you what kind of effect it creates. It basically creates this effect of repeating a video. So boomerang is a super popular method of creating Instagram stories. You got super zoom and super zoom has a bunch of different effects on it. So if you press and hold, it basically slowly zooms into the subject that you're recording. And depending on what music you chose, it adds a music to it. Again, I have completely different videos on every single one of these. So I'm not going to spend too much time. Next, you have focus and focus basically lets you put a subject in the foreground that's in focus. And then if you take a picture, as you could see, my depth of field, things actually fell out of focus. So this is great for taking portrait mode pictures of yourself or anyone else. And focus also has a bunch of different options here that you could check out. You have rewind, which will play videos in reverse and hands free where you could set your video, press record, and it will give you a timer and you could basically record things hands free without having to hold the phone. And from normal, if you go on the other side, you have live to go live on Instagram. You have music, which it lets you pick music like this one. And then you could choose basically 15 seconds of the song by scrolling through the song and basically posting this as your story. 
And then you have create, which gives you a bunch of different options if you have a newer account here. So we'll focus on this actually a little bit later. So let's jump back in and I'm gonna create my first Instagram post here now. I'm gonna go ahead and press my story here. Let me go ahead and take a video here. So I'll just basically move this up and down just to take a video. And now I wanna show you when you get to this page, all the different options you have. Actually, let, let me X out of here. I'll just take a photo so it's not distracting. So we have a photo here. So let's see what we could do. On the very bottom, we could say your story and it will immediately share it to my story. Then there's close friends. I'll talk about that separately, but you could basically create a group of close friends that only see your story and not everyone that follows you. And then you have send to. Send to will let you send it to a specific person or you could just share it to your story this way too. It works almost the same way if you press share to your story as pressing your story on the bottom. That's what's on the bottom here. In the middle, you could actually slide left here and you will get different filters. So as I'm sliding left and right now, I could get different filters to put over my Instagram story posts. So that's a pretty useful option right here. It's very similar to posting on Instagram feed with filters. And let's see what we got on top. So you got the download arrow. If you press that, that downloads it to your camera roll. So this effects tab basically lets you create a lot of different cool effects here. Recently, they actually rolled out augmented reality filters too. So there's a bunch of different ones you could explore here. And each one could be used in combination with the filter. So you choose one and you will apply that effect right on that image. I'm going to turn that off. Next and the biggest thing you'll probably use is the sticker option. So press that. And as you could see, there's a bunch of these things. They're called stickers inside of Instagram story. And some of the most useful ones that have been around for a long time is location, mention and hashtag. So let's go ahead and choose one of those. Let's do location. So here's my state, for example, if I was traveling. So it gives you the sticker where this becomes searchable and like the state of Illinois, for example, on this page that could become searchable on their page. And you could be found on the explore page using this location tab. Every time I travel, I do use it and I do hit the explore page a lot and get new followers that way. So if you wanted to tell people where you are, you could do that. Anytime you put a sticker here, you could grab and drag and delete it just by bringing it to the garbage can, or you could basically increase the size and the shape. I'm just using my two different fingers to go ahead and rotate it around and you could tap it to get different variations of the sticker. All of them usually have at least three different versions of them based on color and transparency here. Next you have at mention sticker. So if you want to mention one of your friends here, you could do that. So let's say, the Nike brand that I'm following. I wanted to mention that I could go put that there. I could go ahead and resize that. Then you have your hashtag. Now hashtag is a great way again to get searched on the explore page and found on the explore page and on the hashtag page too. So here, if I was doing film here, I could go ahead and do that. I could resize that. And then when someone looks up the hashtag film, this could show up on the story portion of that tag and on the explore page. But if you don't care about getting more followers and you're just using this for fun, just go ahead and use these to create a cool design. So you could definitely use these to create a cool design on your post here. Then you have music, poll, questions, countdown, chat, quizzes, donations, bunch of different ones like this one. It actually lets you ask a question and it's a quiz. For example, if I press dice, you can say, guess my favorite ice cream and you could give them an option here. And on top of each of those stickers, usually you have that color wheel, which again changes how they look. And each time if I decided I have too many stickers, I could grab one of them and I could bring it to the garbage can. The one in the front usually takes over so you could hide stickers even like hashtags under a different sticker just like I'm doing here. And you could go ahead and resize it as you see fit. I have completely separate videos on every single one of these stickers and I make new ones every time a new sticker comes out. So I'm not gonna focus on that. But these stickers that have this white background are basically their own independent features that were rolled out at different times on Instagram. Then you have your regular smiley faces and things like that, that you could go ahead and add anytime you want right here. And if you don't like one of them, just go ahead and take it to the garbage can. And you could also search here for emojis, for example. Let's say you want a smiley emoji, you could go ahead and search for that and then put that somewhere within your Instagram post, just like that. And these are also resizable using two fingers here to shrink them and make them larger. 
Let me X out of this so I could start from scratch to show you the next option. Again, I'll take a picture here. And the next one is this highlighter. If I press it, I could basically write out things right here. You see, I have the marker right there selected. The color of the marker is on the bottom. So if I wanted to write in black, I could choose black and write. In blue, I could choose blue and write. And that's how you write here. And there's a bunch of different colors available. And you could change the thickness of the marker here on the left side. Now it's gonna be a lot thicker than before. And then you could always undo here on the left side. So the next one is a highlighter. Let's see how that works. Again, same thing, but it's a little bit transparent. So as you could see, you could see the background happening right here on the bottom. And again, you could change the color. I'll choose color purple on the bottom. As you could see, same kind of thing. You could change the size as well. This other one is basically like a highlighter, but it does create that neon glow around it. And you have your eraser tool if you wanted to erase it instead of pressing undo. All useful options in here. Let me show you a more advanced option here. With the marker selected, let me choose the color blue. And if I just press and hold in the middle of the page lightly, it changes the entire color. So I could then use this to design a different post just with a clear background or with a color background. So if I wanted to ask a question here, I could do it this way and it will have a cool new look to it. So sometimes if I just took a picture and if I wanted a black background, I'll just go to the highlighter, choose black and then select and hold in the middle and it will give me a black background to start from. This is great if you don't want any distractions. And there's another option here where with the highlighter, you could do the same thing. So let me do green. I choose green on the bottom, press and hold and it creates this nice transparency here where you can still see what's in the background and it's not a solid color. So a couple of useful options there. When you're done, press done. That's the highlighter. Next you have text, which is very, very useful. So type anything here. I'm just using the keyboard to type. Your colors are on the bottom. So if you wanted to change the colors, you could just do that on the bottom even after you type. So I'll just choose white. On the very top, you have classic, modern, neon, typewriter, strong, and back to classic. Those are the different fonts you basically could choose from. And on the left side of that, you could justify and you could create backgrounds for them. And once you do select the background option, you could change the background here without changing the color of the text. And after you do type, you could resize here using the left side slider. Let's go ahead and press done. And now let's say this is what you wanted to post and you were done. You could share it to your story. Let me show you if you do that just press that and it's shared to my story. Now, if I click on my own story, there you go. Now that's how long my post is. As soon as it's done, it's gonna bring me back to the page. So now, if anyone goes on my profile, you see there's a red ring around my image. On profile, if I select it, it will take me here. And on this page, on the bottom, you have the three dots, which will let you delete it. It will let you save it, share it, and then you have your story settings right here, which will give you a lot more options like allowing message replies, saving it to camera roll, sharing options. Every single story has these controls just by pressing the three dots and pressing story settings. And you also have the highlight option. If you press the highlight, you could permanently keep these, basically archiving them where they no longer are only visible for 24 hours. They'll show up somewhere else as a highlight. Let me jump and after you created a post inside of Instagram story like this one, you could always press it and press the plus sign right here next to your story text to create another one. So it doesn't always just have to be one post at a time. You could do as many as you want. So if I go ahead and take that picture, I could do all the things I do to it as I did before, like adding these cool filters, adding stickers, adding text, the temperature, whatever I want and then I could go ahead and share it to my story. Or the other options I mentioned, your close friends, let me go ahead and press that. And your close friends are basically a list of friends that you could share stories with separately. This came out in 2019 and it's super useful. So in order to do that, just say add to list. And basically right now, I don't have any friends on this new profile, but you would create yourself a list. Again, I have a full tutorial on the close friends option. So check that out if that does interest you. But that's basically a complete overview of Instagram story. Obviously, you could take this to the next level. For example, just to show you a super advanced option on profiles that have more than 10,000 followers like this one. If I go ahead and select the picture, I also get that link option. You see that one? If I press it, it lets me send people to a web link like a YouTube video or a website or IGTV video. Now IGTV video, anybody could get, you don't need 10,000 followers, but that will take you to an IGTV video. 
and I'll discuss that in the IGTV tutorial.